this is again you have the itero but now we're replacing two upper molars so we don't need to map a nerve obviously but we need to do still a virtual wax up so we'll do two virtual teeth so remember what we do we map the contours of the teeth right we draw a curve on the buckle roughly it doesn't have to be very accurate okay now you tell the software i think we're missing we're missing three and fourteen three fourteen finish and now we just put them in position don't ask me weird huh In this case, probably better to do a wax up. But just so we have the idea. Okay, let's put the number 14 in position. Now, I have no clue. This tooth, this virtual tooth, can be in a completely wrong restorative position but just to give us an idea okay just so we have something to work with work by okay <laughs> okay let's start with three okay so let's go to number three like that okay okay so what do you think what do you think about this cross section on number three? I think we don't have a lot of band, and mm -hmm. uh, we're the membrane is kind of thick. Yeah. Okay. So we still throw an implant in there. Okay. Now it really doesn't matter. Place an implant. I'm throwing an implant in there. Okay. Now we n now you'll see the limitations of you know before we we dealt with it during the procedure. Now we can tell ahead of time. Okay, so let's connect an abutment. Conical abutment. For some reason I got used to the black color. And let's call it, let's make it a five millimeter into the buckle. But I can't. You see, let's say I put it in the middle of the ridge. Right. Look, uh, the dentist is gonna shoot me, right? Not a good place. Not a good place. But let me ask you a question. Now, you since I have you here. In this case, with your CT, knowing the limitation of the site or saying, okay, let's see what happens. When let's see what we CT. have. Let's see what we have. I didn't promise anything. Okay. But I can, you know, this is probably as far as I can go to the buckle without blowing up the buckle plate. I can probably tilt the implant to the buckle as well for some better... Let's call it screw access, but there's going to be a pretty big component of a cantilever. Mm -hmm. Now that may not make a difference for this patient. You know, she'll have well, how about she'll she'll have a tooth, but six millimeters of the implant going into the sinus of a that's a separate issue. Okay, we haven't that we didn't got there yet. <laughs> that's a separate issue that we need to do a sinus. They get the implant position. Kind of in a mesodistal, you know, proper angle and great restorative space. Yeah, I may, I, I may have to bury it a little bit deeper. All right. So that's that's a compromise case. You have options for this patient. <laughs>